record mm-hmm. music and you know just try different shit so then what convinced you to do this I'm, I'll stop the music let's just get to it what convinced you to even get on this because somebody say you can't do it and you did it because I know you might be one of them kind of people well I just started doing different types of music you know I started f***ing with the auto tune and then I'm like f*** it let's do a Spanish record mm-hmm. I, do, I just do all types of records now you know okay okay, got, okay. Like, rap got so boring to me so I just started doing all this sh- well we're definitely going to cover a lot of different ground in this interview because I feel like with Chromas, I have a special relationship. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing interviews. You know the time, first time that we linked up to do any interview, you were 18? Was I 18 still? Yeah. No, I think I was 19. Right there in the studio no, in 19. Kensington. You're 19. just turning 19 in times, oh, I right? I just turned 19. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I think you had 19. two music videos out at the time. Yeah, yeah. Sounds right. Okay, can I, can I do this before we even get into anything? And just to clear this up, just for my petty mind. Were we the first interview that you did? In Toronto, for sure, yeah. No, yeah? Any interview, yeah, on camera. The first interview on camera. Okay, no, there's one other interview. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, though, because they're... We don't have to talk about it. I just want to know if we were first. There's one I don't other mind not being first. There. Okay, okay. But, um, yeah, let's let's get it down. Okay, <laughs> so with no further ado, you know, for the people who are in the there viewing audience... There is one other interview that... It, no, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, don't even, don't even worry about them, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, for the people in the viewing audience, y'all already know what it is. You're like, holy, you know what I mean? The likes are going crazy right now on YouTube. And for the people in the listening audience, you know what I'm saying? I have a special, special guest that, you know, I, I really enjoy having conversations with. So, um, and also, big salute to our sponsors, Astro Pink. If you know, you know, check them out on their website, myastropink.com, or on their Instagram, Astro holy- underscore. Pay. Cut it out, man. Like, is this my fucking interview or what? I gotta pay bills, fam. Like, what the f***? <laughs> Do that at the end, fam. Okay. <laughs> so with no further ado, we have chromas in the motherfucking building. Where's my ear horns? Yeah, so what's going you. on? Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for coming through. Pleasure. I, did, I almost didn't think you were going to come through, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know. I've been flopping all these other times. So let me ask you. Did you find a cameraman? For what? You put up a post saying that you're looking for a cameraman for your... I never said a cameraman. I said someone to film content. Like, it's mm. just like, because um, they like more raw things, like from your iPhone. They don't actually want like professional. Like, I do professional shoots for OnlyFans sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But I just need someone that's going to actually come and take my videos for me and stuff, you know? Okay, actually. but you still you still with the same camera team, right? What do you mean? Like... The you you've always had a camera crew from the beginning and I T Dot. T Dot's always been yes, my guy. Yes. You're yeah. still you're still with them. Yeah, if I have to okay. do shoots, it's T Dot because he's seen my tits a thousand times already. <laughs> but um no, yeah, I ended up I was obviously looking for a girl. Like I don't want a guy mm. filming me, you know? So I ended up hiring someone that I already know, so you know, it's comfortable. She's amazing, she comes okay. with ideas. The content's looking really good. So just a message to people out there. Y'all can stop sending her DMs um, saying that you want to work for her. <laughs> yeah, the, the I was, I was never going to hire a guy. <laughs> There's mostly guys that wanted the job. Tell me, there's probably mad dudes that probably hit you in the DMs about that shit. Yeah, they're like, I'll do it for free. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got a lot of good ideas, though, because I told people to send me their ideas. So that was good. Um, also, quick thing. Speaking of Instagram, how many times did you lose your Instagram in 2022, fam? I lost about like nine accounts mm-hmm. in 2022. What do you mean nine accounts? Like I had to make over 10 accounts. But now I got my original back. But before I got the original back, I thought I wasn't getting back. Everyone said no. Uh-huh. Like everybody. They're like somebody at Instagram who's very high up personally, white flags your account. They don't want you on the ground. So is that how you lost it in the first place? Yeah. You got flagged. White flag, too. Yeah. I don't even know what that means, but that's what they, that's what everyone said that works there. A white flag? Okay, so how did you get it back? Because remember, you have you have a check mark. That's a big fucking deal, and I'm sure that like even when you had the Instagram gone, it, it kind of affected the way you push your stuff. Oh, a thousand percent. And even like you know, I didn't even want to drop music for the longest time. It was like really fucked up. I was like used to you know having an audience that I can always like push stuff out to. So up a lot of things for me i wanted to sue facebook because it made me lose a lot of money you know how much money a lot <laughs> a lot a lot of money think about it you're going from 300 plus thousand people that you can sell a product to mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you have to start from nothing and then once i would build it to like 
20k 30k would get taken down again so it was like wow. very frustrating for me yeah 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 so eventually how did you what did you have to do to get it back well eventually people just like, like it was just a time where everyone was just getting the shit back so mm-hmm. i just paid a lot of money and i did it wow i had to pay twice though because i lost it like after rolling loud i lost it again okay this is true now, can you tell me what happened around then? You did the Rolling Loud, and then you lost the account. Why did you lose the account? Um, we'll get to the Rolling Loud, but what, <laughs> why did you lose your account? I don't remember, to be honest. Do you, you don't think that you bring it on yourself sometimes, fam? Not really. Look at my Instagram now. If you really look at look at the old me and look at look at go on go on my Instagram now. Do you really see anything like that bad? Now, but sometimes you used to do some. That was before though. That's when Instagram, Instagram was lit, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instagram yeah. used to be a fun place. Let me oh, take a like, look at your gram now. Like, I go on Instagram to talk shit and laugh, you know? Like, now people are trying to go on Instagram to be woke and shit. Like, I don't want that shit. Like, I want to be ignorant on the gram. What do you see on the gram? Nothing. It's, it's pretty tame. It's pretty... Uh, this one right here. Which one? I see just these and, and... That's a bikini. I know, but fam... It must be hard to find that That's balance. That's how I got famous, though, is being in bikinis all the time. Yeah. So, like, it must be, like, a struggle because... In the back of your mind, every time you're ready to post, you must be scared to post to see your account get flagged. I'm just, I think I'm just so high. Like, I'm just always going to get my account back now. (laughs) 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 They're going to hate me when they watch this. No, I think I'm good, to be honest. I'm being more careful, especially what's going on with Director X and the Robin Hood series. Like, Mm -hmm. I have to take my shit more seriously. I can't just be like, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't just be doing anything, even with the OnlyFans stuff, like. Even yeah. in my personal life, I can't just you know what I mean. You gotta be acting serious. It's not like being a rapper and shit. Rappers can just do whatever they want. Or yeah. So, can we talk about that? I'm, I'm gonna skip my. Actually, I'm not gonna skip my do my care about music question. Do you care about music still as much? Of course I do. Like that's like, that's honestly like that's what got me famous. Is you know people are like, oh my god, she's so trash, but she's so sexy. And, mm-hmm. You know. I do music because I like to do music. Like if if a song pops off, like you know, good for me. But I just do it because I like to do it, and I don't think I'm gonna stop doing it, mm-hmm. even if it doesn't work out. You know, because regardless, something's gonna work out. Like I made it this far to put, you know, my face out there. Yeah, and but I just do it because I like to do it. You know, but you you have had success. Like you're one of the people, one of the only rappers in the city who has over 20 million views on your music. Video. Yeah, a thousand percent. Right. So there are people. Who with your music yeah from just from my youtube views i can buy a house like yeah so like i don't think it's something where music is not something that's working out it's i think it's a stepping stone yeah a thousand percent a thousand percent like if i didn't do music i wouldn't have got the role in the series because director x would have never heard about me he's one Mm. he reached out to me he's like yo you should you're from toronto you should audition to be on my show Okay. So he gave me an audition, you know? So is that show finished being filmed? And the show that we're talking about is Robin Hood. Yeah, season one is finished. I initially, I auditioned for the main for the main role. Mm-hmm. And I didn't get it. I was, like, devastated. Mm-hmm. And then a few months later, they hit me up with the role. It's um the main villain's daughter. And I'm like, this role okay. so much, like, you know? It's more sick. It's, you know, everyone loves a villain. Yeah. So it was really good, you know? I was really happy about that. Are you in like, every episode? No. Okay, so tell me, like, what's a day on the set of, like, for, like, working with Director X? Well, it was really, like, I've never had acting classes or, like, I've never been on set before, so it was, like, really different. It's, like, it's kind of like shooting a music video, but instead you're working for the people that are shooting. They're not working for you, you know? Mm -hmm. That's, like, the only difference. Yeah. It's kind of like doing a music video, but you're working for the people. They're not working for you. What about the lines? The lines, that's easy. That's the easiest part is being an actor is remembering your lines. That has nothing to do with anything. Really? Being an actor, you have to actually put yourself in the situation. It's kind of fucked up, like... Like, if, if it's supposed to be, like, a sad moment on screen, you have to put yourself in a sad moment that's similar. So you kind of, like, you're mentally f***ing yourself up, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Just to be able to... Um, bring the character to life yeah and, yeah know, make it believable and stuff so are you allowed to give us like a little bit of like I don't insight know. into I don't like know. what the series because like, we all know the robin hood story right um yeah, like the course. original robin hood story you know a guy who comes and steals from the rich gives to the poor but this is so supposed basically to be... it's a girl from the hood her name's robin mm-hmm. her and her her and her whatever little crew or gang then they, um, they end up doing like heist with the rich people but then there's like a 
my my dad is a villain and the show is involved mm -hmm. it's cool it's really cool it's coming out this year season one so this is in toronto the series takes place filmed in hamilton toronto but like the, the it's supposed to take place in toronto or is it supposed to be taking place in the states type Nottingham, of thing Nottingham, like the same thing as the story uh, um, it's like an imaginary I don't place know if i was supposed to say that <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We might have to cut this part of the interview right here. I'll ask okay. him. But like, are you shooting guns and you chasing people in this shit? Like, give me, give me some wild shit there's that McCormick might be there's, doing in there's this. There's guns. There's guns. Yeah. I'll tell you this. I'm so sexy. They couldn't find a stunt double for me, so I had Jeez. to actually do shit myself. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be seeing Chromas jumping over cars and type of. Shit. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. I'm excited for season two. That's what I'm excited for. So you're already signed on for season two. What about now that you're in this world, right? Like, do you feel like do you have the acting bug now? Do you want to do some other shit? Yeah, yeah, I do. But I don't really know. Like, I'm just waiting for the show to release. And like, you know, mm -hmm. I want to pick up on some acting classes. But at the same time, I don't. Yeah, well, look, <laughs> fam, like, you remember you were in um, um, Push. Yeah, but Push wasn't really like, there was no script or nothing. It was just like, oh, just be chromas, you know? So mm. just talk shit. This is different. It's more like, this is professional shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, there's fam. There's people on set paid to just clean your shoes, like, just give you sips of water and stuff. Like, wow. Different. And how did Director X, like, you said besides, like, he, he, he knew about you through the music, obviously, because he's tapped into the through scene. Through Instagram and stuff, yeah. But, like, how did you guys, like, how did he get in contact with you? He just hit you up in the DMs? No. So, my old trainer I used to train with, Body by Chosen, mm -hmm. he got me super fit before. <laughs> I have to go back to him. He he knows him. So, he told him, like, yo, give me Chromos' number and whatever. Mm. That's how it worked out. He's like, yo, you're from Toronto. You have star power. You need audition. It's not like he just gave me a role, you know? Yeah, I actually yeah. had to, like, audition i remember the the role that i got they sent to pretend what's what's today today's tuesday right yeah so they probably sent it like six o'clock and they're like have it by tomorrow a.m by 10 a.m tomorrow wow. so i remember i stayed up all night there was no one to practice with me because remember you were supposed to practice with me and you flopped <laughs> so i literally i recorded myself um reading the other lines of okay. other characters and then i gave myself room to speak and that's how i practiced all night and then in the morning i filmed it mm -hmm. i sent it off and that's it. Yo, fam, I'm proud of you. Yo. <laughs> no, like, cause like, I feel like a lot of times people look at you from the outside and they don't, they, they just think Chrome is just like just party, f everything, da da da. And you can see that you're putting this focus into shit. Like, you you want to make it in this yeah, music business or in this don't, entertainment. Don't get it twisted. I did get lost in the partying <laughs> since <laughs> I've been back. I was in Detroit for the summer mm -hmm. and then I came, I came back to film the show. Mm -hmm. I came back to film the show and, um, Ever since I was, I was super focused because when you're filming, you're filming. Like, it's like these long hours. You have to be there. I would have to be in Hamilton sometimes 5 a.m., 6 a.m., and I wouldn't leave till 10 p.m. at night. Wow. It's long hours. You're there all day shooting. You know what I mean? So, um, but after we finished shooting, I was, I've been still partying. Now I'm yeah. like New Year's resolution trying to like, you know, watch my liquor. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you like got to make sure that the image, like you said, like it's the show is getting ready to come out. Yeah, I you don't want to get over and then they replace my character with someone else i'll be cheese the fans fans are gonna be cheese too they're gonna be like who the f is this knockoff chromas mm. <laughs> no fam and and it's a good look too because like i feel like you get a bad rap and part of what i want to do even in this conversation is like dispel some of the rumors that you get about you you know what i'm saying like, rumors rumors are rumors like okay even with academics right yeah at one point in time he wanted to sign you right yeah he said this on the stream when was that going on and what kind of like approach did he give you as like did he say yo i got a contract for you this is what one uh, kind of advance i would do like what kind of conversation was that, that? was going on the, around the times that i went to new york and i was on live with him mm -hmm. that's when we were in like the works of, like just speaking on what grab like, a water and stuff water water mm -hmm. thank you mm -hmm. um so yeah that's when we were kind of talk, speaking on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, honestly, I felt like because I was making like a killing off OnlyFans during those times, so I felt like they were more interested in like the OnlyFans money because yeah. like, like obviously academics is huge. Like he can post me every day, and that would just make me go crazy. But it's like other than that, like you know, yeah, I wasn't really getting it, and he was kind of like, 
yo, like I like to do things quick and I'm like. So what, do you want you to sign something right away type of yeah. thing? Yeah. Mm. So I was kind of like, I'm not into it. And then we, and then he just started talking crazy on the internet. So I'm like, fuck this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So have you guys ever even tried to resolve it? Because like he's gotten, gone wild on Twitch a bunch of times. My I mean, he's gone wild on Twitch a bunch of times. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever hit him up in the DMs like, fam, like, cut it out or, like, maybe even try before, to squash the before, shit? Before, like, when he would go on live and say stupid shit, I would tell him, like, yo, stop fucking talking about me like that. I'm not, like, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And then he went on live with, like, the GGs or, like, I think it was a presser or some shit. And yeah, yeah. Like, oh, she's a bitch thing. And I'm like, what? You don't even know what that means. You're not from here. Like, mm -hmm. So after that, after he was just saying stupid like, I'm just like, fuck this guy. Like, I don't care to burn the bridge, you know? So, even with, like, it, all this stuff going on in the States, you got one guy who tried to give you a contract, and then you have somebody who said that you were in a contract. Adam22. Shout out to our sponsors, Astro Pink. Always coming with that loud, loud. Check them out on their website, myastropink.com, or you can hit them up on Instagram, at astro underscore pink. If you know, you know. Mm -hmm. What happened with this contract, fam? Like, wh wh how was that presented? And then why did you sign? Adam 22, because they they make crazy, they're goats. Like, I respect Adam yeah, and yeah, Lena. Yeah. Like, in a fans game, mm -hmm. like, they sh on a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they help girls who are nobodies. Like, they help girls who make four racks a month, make, like, 200K a month. You know what I mean? Facts. So I'm like, I'm already making so-and-so. If I link up with them, my money is just going to be so crazy, you know? So I was just looking at it at the money. Mm -hmm. And then I did, initially we were supposed to do a foot video. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, the girl, she was like, oh, I don't have the oil. I don't have this. Like, let's just do two jobs. So I'm like, fuck. So I didn't really think about it. I was like, I was working poker games at that time in LA. So I was like, off like cookies and liquor and, you know, yeah. partying like crazy. So I remember I pulled up. I had, hadn't slept on it. I was working all night. Mm -hmm. Pulled up to their studio and they told me this. And I'm like, okay, let's just get it done. Like, you know? Yeah. So I did the Tinja video. <laughs> Obviously, it went viral. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, Fuck. like, I kind of regretted it because, first of all, like, the setup was just not good. Like, I feel like if I did something that extreme, like, it should have been, like, amazing production. I just yeah. wasn't, like, it looked so sloppy and amateur. Like, I just didn't like it. You and, know? and just uh, with, uh, like, for transparency, I never seen the video. It doesn't matter, but I actually never seen the video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But keep going. Yeah, so it's just, just, it was like, imagine like being like in your everyday like spot that you shoot your podcast and doing like, sorry, my bad. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm a big deal in the OnlyFans world, you know, like fans, like it was a big deal for me to like yeah. have my tits out and do a tit job. So for it to just be like that and like set up so poorly, it was not a good look for me, you know, mm -hmm. but um, I did make us a lot of money, so I don't like... You know, good yeah. at them. And then it was just like, you know, I'm not really feeling this. I don't want to be in L.A. every month having to, like, shoot with them. Mm -hmm. So I realized it wasn't Hold on. You skipped the part because then there's a contract that comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, they're cool, though. They make enough money to let me go. <laughs> yeah, but. They don't need me. Between the time of, like, the, the no jumper Patreon time or whatever, was it, like, right after that he's like, yo, let me sign you to Plug Talk? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hmm. And, like, what, what was the terms? Like, now that, it's, that you guys are not doing it, like, was it like, yo, you signed for 10 years with us, two years? Like, what, what does this plug talk contract look like? Well, I always make sure when I sign a contract that I can bounce whenever I want. Right. You know, if it's not working out, we, you know, I try to talk to you nice. And mm -hmm. If we can, like, separate ways and we can still make money. Like, we can still, me and him do a video and still both make money. You know what I mean? You're right. But um, I just make it so I can bounce whenever I want. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to have to deal with, like, you know? People holding, trying to hold me down for a long time. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. So I just told him it's not working out. Like, I'm not really down to shoot, like, more content with you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, because obviously, like, the more content, you have to do crazier and crazier shit. Like, yeah, yeah. That was already enough for me. I'm like, no, like, it's not it. I'd just rather shoot content by myself. Yeah, because at that point now, you're going to be, like, completely in the porn world. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay, and you didn't want to go all the way into that level, no, basically. I'm halfway stepping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm halfway stepping in the 
called? Yeah. So can I? I don't know. That's like always a backup. Like if nothing works out for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let me, let me. But let's hope not. I don't think so, to be honest. Well, at the same time, it's, it, it's a good backup. OnlyFans has made you some life. money. Yeah, and it's still there. You know, it's still going. Yeah. Like people are like the people who manage my OnlyFans. They're like shocked. They're like, bro, I don't know how like you lasted like so long. Hmm. And you're still going like it's crazy. Let me ask you a pocket I'm still watch in question. Top 0. 0.03%. Really? On OnlyFans, yeah. Really? So let me let me ask you a pocket watch pocket watching question if you don't mind. What's the best month that you ever made on OnlyFans? 250. Wow. Yeah, that's why when they when they're hearing those numbers, they're like, yeah, we need to sign this girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, fam, it must be a different thing when it comes to you with the dating world. Because you probably have what do we call these guys? Gold digger, gold digger guys. For me, I don't really have that problem because everybody who I've dated, I've known from my past, like since I was 15, 16. I don't really, I'm not out here dating like new guys that I've just like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not like that. <laughs> Does it make it hard for you to trust people like being so like in the public eye? Oh yeah, a thousand percent. Yeah. 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 So like, how do you like, what do you do to like, What's your process of even letting new people into your into your world or into your circle? Like, do you have like a vetting process? Do you have to be like, mm, you have to be with me a certain amount of time before, because you have certain people who you roll with tough over time. Yeah, yeah, right. 100%. So, what separates them from like new people who try to get into your world? Well, new people it depends how I meet them. Like, for example, if my brother over here like introduces me to someone, mm -hmm. he's like, you know, that's my brother. So yeah. whoever he introduces me to, like, I know they're they're good. Mm -hmm. So it just depends how I meet them. And, you know, I'm all about vibes, like how I feel with them and stuff. I'm very intuitive. So I can kind of like read when something's like a little bit off or I'm not comfortable. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Um, there's water there for you right there. Thank you, thank you. Um, let me ask you something. It might be a little bit personal. You ever think about having kids? Yeah, a thousand percent. Yeah? What, was, what would Chromas as a mom be? be good my kids would never i know when i have kids i'm not gonna be like doing only fans anymore mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm not gonna be anymore like i know when i have kids it's when i'm like truly ready to like you know go and mom i'm still gonna be sexy obviously but i'm not gonna be doing only fans if mm -hmm. i have to still do only fans i won't have kids mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there was one rumor and this is gonna be the last rumor i ask you about oh my god i already know what you're gonna say uh <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what the fuck I'm going to say? Because we talked about kids. Okay. Can we clear up that Draco to rule a rumor? I Once met, and for all. I met Draco in LA at the studio and that's it. Okay. R.I.P. I like his music a lot. R.I.P. His girlfriend actually messaged me after he passed away. Mm -hmm. I felt really bad. She's like, oh, please tell me this isn't true. I'm like, you don't have to worry about nothing. We just went met in the studio. And she's like, yes, he told me the same thing. Like, because I guess she's seen our DMs together or whatever. Yeah. But, um, yeah. He's okay. Not in the studio. <laughs> I'll leave it alone. Then. All right. <laughs> that rumor is wild. It's, it is wild. Fam. Like, listen, you, it must be crazy getting all of this stuff coming at you on a regular basis. Sometimes I sit like, and I'm thinking about the different people I've interviewed and you are one of the more high profile people and you get a lot of backlash. Yeah. How the f do you deal with the backlash fam? Honestly, I'm just, I'm in a process right now where I'm like, you know how everyone has their rule book. I'm rewriting um, like my whole rule book. Like mm -hmm. I'm just doing everything differently right now. But the one thing that I'm doing the same is not giving a mm. So I really don't care, to be honest, unless it's my mom or like my super close homie telling me like, yo, you actually fucked up. You shouldn't have done so and so. Yeah, yeah. I don't really care because everything passes, you know, mm -hmm. people will bring it up after. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. As well, long as it's not going to kill my career, I don't really care. Well, sh like. When you're getting like millions of fucking or thousands of fucking comments or DMs, like after like an academic stream or something like that, you never feel down sometimes, fam? No. No? I feel happy. <laughs> and like, I'm not even like, believe it or not, I'm not even on my phone a lot. Like mm -hmm. my homies over there, they're on their phone like way more than me. It's bad. Like if we check the hour times, you'll see my hours as well. I'm, 
don't even go on my phone like that too much. Literally, I go to like watch my own stories or watch animals on the internet mm-hmm, or mm-hmm, something, mm-hmm. you know? No, that's good, fam. That means you have like a good mental health regimen for. I remember when I first started, um, when my first videos started like um, surfacing the internet and stuff, mm-hmm. when they started going viral, mm-hmm. I would tell myself, like, don't look at the comments and stuff. Like, who cares about them? Yeah, yeah. Now I look at the comments sometimes when I'm bored because just for like a little laugh or whatever. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really affect me. Like some people are built for it. Some people aren't like some people really care Mm -hmm. what other people think and say like, I'm not like that. No, because I think people will sometimes be thinking that some entertainers are sitting at home crying after like getting like hit up on the Internet by a bunch of people. I think some of them actually are because some people are so like mentally unstable or they just don't know how to deal with it. I think some of them actually are. Yeah. There is some hurt, like, you know, some weird things. Like, I'm like, holy shit, people are actually crazy out here, like, telling me to, like, kill myself and, like, just a bunch wow. of weird shit. Like, you know? But for me, it doesn't affect me. You've had people actually tell you kill yourself in the fucking internet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, That's weird, mod. weird messages. People are crazy. That's mod. I want to ask you one more thing also over two, um, 2022. Rolling Loud. Take me through the events of that day on Rolling Loud. Rolling Loud um, was very last minute planning. The whole reason I was late to my set. Mm -hmm. So that's why I ended up on another set. I was late to my set because I hated my outfit. So I got a stylist to make another outfit. And we're just waiting on my outfit to be made. We got there. We're just running around the whole time trying to find the artist entrance. It was just like a big mess, like mm-hmm. where we couldn't find where to be for like over an hour. Thank God, um, the coordinator. Do you remember her name, fam? The coordinator? She's she's nice though. What, what was her name? I don't know. But anyways, the coordinator, yeah. she's a girl. Coordinator, she's like, yo, we'll put you on another set, whatever. So mm-hmm. I got on another set, whatever. It is what it is. I think they thought I was replacing Ski Mask or something. Yes, because you went on right when Ski Max set was supposed to start. Yeah. So you do only had two tunes. Yeah. Right? I didn't walk off my set. I would never. If I had 20 Fam, songs, I, was I would have performed all 20 songs. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I only did two songs. Mm-hmm. Because I don't really like any of the songs I have out right now. So I just did two songs. So what happened when like the, the you kind of had like a little bit like, of a... I want to call it a well, spaz out. Well, I was out. kind of drunk. Mm-hmm. And I was telling everyone to shut the f*** up. And then that's, <laughs> when they went, that's when they went crazy. Yeah, like, so was, was somebody, did somebody try to throw a bottle or some shit like that? A lot of people did. But then my homies in the in the stage were throwing it back, right back uh, at the crowd. I was throwing it back at the crowd. At the time of my life, to be honest. That was a crazy night. I had a lot of fun. That- but we were like exhausted after it was so much running around even just screaming our heads off because they kept sending us to different places when we were trying to look for the artist entrance it was like it was fucked up wow just for like five minutes of stage time yeah literally that's crazy it was a really good experience though i got a lot of money from only fans the next day it was crazy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i got i got a good amount of followers too yeah, for sure, for sure. No, the pillow talk interview that shit got me fifty thousand followers. That really, one interview. yeah, really, yeah. really. I was no. at like three ten. I'm at like three sixty now. Wow. That interview. Well, salute to Ryan. Yeah, Rolling know. Loud only got me like five k followers, but it did good on my OnlyFans though. Yeah, no, fam. I think sometimes people look at it as a, as an L, but I I I, I feel like it was kind of a W because you went you that was the most viral moment of the whole weekend. I would, listen to me. I would rather everybody be so in tune with me and so paying attention to me than people being on their phones and being like, this is boring, you know? Yeah, At yeah. the end of the day, I'm happy as long as, like, you know, if that makes you happy, yelling out, boo, get the fuck off, throwing shit at me, because people are laughing when they're doing this, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they're not Whatever. mad. Yeah. So that makes me happy, you know? Yeah. I'd be sad. I'd actually be sad if I seen people on their phones, like, not videotaping me and stuff. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. I have footage from that night to last me a lifetime. Even, like, my fans, like, the drawings they did mm-hmm, and stuff, mm-hmm. like, you know? No, fam. Like, I don't think a lot of people realize that you have a crazy fan base. Um, what's the final picture look like for Chromas? Like, when you're, like, at that, you know, you could take a break for a second because you've you've gotten all these goals checked off what did that look like for you i don't think i'm ever gonna take a break <laughs> but like you know what i mean like i think i'm gonna keep working i want to be in movies like when i'm like 80 mm. 
So yeah. movie star, everything, doing everything the I can soundtrack. Get my hands on. I regret calling myself a rapper because rap music just became boring to me. I like to make all types of music. Now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So being a rapper, like in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with everything that you've gone through, right, and like you, you've lived a pretty crazy life, fam. I feel like I've lived like a hundred years already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What would this chromas tell to? Let's say Chroma's 10 years ago. 10 years ago? I was too young 10 years. I don't really care about that. What I would tell myself is like when we had our first interview Mm -hmm. was to um, just find the formula because I keep making things happen, but I don't really realize the steps that I'm taking. Mm -hmm. So just to pay attention more and find the formula to be able to do it again and again and again. You know what I mean? So right now, that's where where I'm at right now. I've partied so much. I just want to pay attention to when it actually happens for me and, mm-hmm. you know, figure out the formula for real, you know? And repeat Because literally, that. people are always like, oh, Chromas knows what she's doing. Like, I've heard even you say, oh, she knows what she's doing. And it's like, I do this shit. Like, it's like that rich dad, poor dad concept. Like, when you do um, <laughs> decisions, like, subconsciously, like, you don't even know what you're doing, but you're doing the right things. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I want to do is just pay attention to what are the right things so mm-hmm. I can just keep doing it. So that's what I would tell myself. Just pay attention and stop being lost in the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> no, because people get the misconception, I guess, that like you strategically plan this no. thing to get the success. <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> it. It's going to make them more mad. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's, that's smart, though. Now, figure out. And this is smart for the audience members, too, right? Yeah, a thousand percent. Like, whatever you did right, remember, go back and maybe look at that process and say, okay, let me repeat that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Do it better. Yeah. Nah, Chromas, I, I, I f*** with this fam, and, and, and I'm glad that even we were able to have a more concise conversation. I feel like a lot of times when people sit with Chromas, they, they just want to get a sound bite out of you and all that. And that's fun, too. But I, I like to have real conversations, fam. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it, too. You know what I'm saying? I, and, and I, I don't want people to see the real Chromas rather than Chromas on some wild sh- You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Um... <laughs> We don't need to ask you what your social media is and all that. I mean, okay. Everybody knows where the f- to find you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to lead us out here with a tune here. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to, and notice I didn't ask you all that other mix-up shit. You know what I'm saying? What okay. mix-up shit? All the other stuff that you be up in the blogs for with the Toronto rappers and all that bullshit. We ain't on that, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We right? we, we are ask, our... ask the rappers who need it. <laughs> the ones who need to talk my name to get views. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But let's let's take let's take it out with Zoras again, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, I appreciate it. We love hip hop.